like the warehouse door on this side it's like age of empires but the car edition <laughs> all right that's so cool you can see them actually building the car right now 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 where on earth is he running he's running to the train world market is in there <laughs> Some things look so wrong. Hi guys, welcome to Flaming Yakuma with another new episode. This time we are playing Car Manufacturer, uh, a game where you can build your own uh, cars. So, uh, this game is actually in its uh, demo phase at the moment, uh, and I'm actually gonna give it a try today. Uh, looks pretty cool so far. So I got to kind of build my little car factory in this uh, entire space. So right now it's a scenario. So uh, you can't do much other than play the scenario in uh, the demo mode. So uh, without much to say, let's get into the game. So you can, uh, you have your face where you zoom in, zoom out, your tutorial. All right, let's uh, start building our factory. All right, so what do you do? Uh, I can build a building all right this is my first uh, building I guess let's put a door I mean soon as you enter I think where would be the best place to place a door I think over there oh nice so you can uh, resize your building I mean, can I how can I resize my building oh nice so cool All right, we are done with uh, resizing our little building and uh, now I'm gonna make an assembly station. So what do we do? Uh, let's build an assembly station, just like that. All right, so let's see. Let's have the assembly station. So we have like the warehouse door on this side, just like that. transport mm hmm so you can can put your conveyor transport into different places those all right all right mm -hmm. let's do this how do I just like that so cool conveyor belts and next we got storage so we got to build a storage area let's build a storage area like that don't we have any workers coming in oh okay we can storage pallets yeah I'm gonna place it like that Maybe one pallet in the middle. Where do I connect this to? All right, like that. This is the market. The train is your market. So. All right. So next thing that we got to do is uh, click on the assembly station and then we can build our own car. So right now we got this very old looking car. I'm actually looking forward to this game. I want to see what uh, they come up with. All right, so what do you have to buy? Let's uh, check out what we got to buy. So we got to get some mechanics. David Brown uh, is one of our applicants at the moment. High scale, but uh, very costly, $8. <clears throat> so I'm gonna hire him, him, him. I think that's enough, right? Oh no, we need five. Seven. There we go. Being cheap right now.
we need mechanics to build our car all right so we need three mechanics hi him hi him hi him all right we can pause the game play the game all right that's so cool you can see them actually building the car right now all right so this is our assembly line right now not bad look at that you can actually watch them build the entire car right now it's like age of empires but the car edition <laughs> All right, when the first car is assembly, it will need a parking spot. So we got to build a parking spot and I'm going to definitely, yeah, we'll have a nice large parking spot over there. Then we get to place our car park space. Oh, okay. The entire thing has to be. All right. So let's do this. How do I rotate stuff? All right. There we go. Oh, come on. See if we can expand this just a bit. All right. Car parking space is done. Sales. So, all right. We got to even look at the sales of the cars. All right. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to have the over here so they can easily view the cars once that's done sales zone all right we got a zone out of sales zone Not a car sales zone now we got to place the sales person's office hmm I think overlooking the entire office might be uh, might look nice yeah something like that All right, now we got to hire a salesperson. So let's see, I'm just gonna go for a random salesperson right now. All right, Mr. Salesman, where are you? Is this a salesperson? Yeah, I guess they're on their break at the moment. Just uh, <laughs> happily running uh, everywhere, so. All right, boys, what's happening to our vehicle? All right, looks like we're done with our first vehicle and they are already starting work on the second vehicle at the moment, so. All right, I actually wonder how it's gonna drive itself over there. So cool they actually bring the stuff from the train keep in mind that this game is still in its uh, early access uh, stages and like it's a demo stage at the moment so not even early access demo stage oh cool they actually drive the vehicle nice i think because mistake i did was uh put the assembly station over there uh, so it, the output is coming from here and then they have to drive all the way here but like at least they get to test the vehicle from there to here so all right mr salesperson gotta sell those cars all right he's just running look at that where on earth is he running he's running to the train oh no he's completely running out of the factory yo dude 
Was that a customer or a... Oh, that's our salesperson. That's a customer. Alright, Mr. Customer, are you gonna buy our car? Alright, they're gonna go view the car. Alright, so we are done with the tutorial phase at the moment. Alright, where's the quest log button? Alright, quests. We don't have any quests at the moment. Oh, nice, we got a tech tree as well, so... This is actually pretty interesting, like, uh, first time I'm playing a car manufacturing game like this. I pay, played a game in the past, which is something similar, but uh, didn't have this much of graphics and all that. So, all right, here's our tech tree. So, what do you guys think? Advertisement or oh, wa waiting rooms for marketing? Oh, are we gonna go with production? Production lines? Can connect up to two workstations. I think production line would be nice because right now producing the cars are taking forever. All right, here's what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna step up production. So I have two production lines. At the same time, I'm gonna go with uh, this as well. So, oh no, you can't. You have to go one by one. So, unfortunate, you can't do two research uh, items at once. Okay, let me get back over here. All right, so, our production line is uh, assembling its cars, I think, fast as possible. So our people are running left and right and uh, they're working in the busy factory. But it didn't, it's not going to cut it. You're going to have to build another production line for sure. I need one more production line, you guys. I'm greedy for more cars. Alright, so with that thing done. Alright, with that done, let's see what we can do, right? So, I need to have another production line, so let's see. Let's uh, build one more door, just like that, alright. And now I'm gonna have another production assembly station just like that so you can see this uh, progress in demo to unlock so you definitely got some unlocking capabilities as well oh nice so you can even have production big storage shelves so this entire area I'm gonna uh, facilitate it to have uh, different storage items so and while I distract you guys, uh, because I forgot how to place the <laughs> transport conveyor links. So let's uh, place that over there. And... And... Alright, how are we going to do this? Can we only connect it to one? Oh, okay, we can connect it to two. Nice. So, let's do this, right? Why don't we expand this? Right? entire big big area just like that or maybe we'll have to keep this uh, door space just to make it look a bit neat so how does our storage area look like okay let's place a couple of shelves right that's what I'm thinking so let's keep some space couple of shelves Right, so we got plenty of money right right now got five thousand two hundred six uh, dollars we've sold our uh, next car as well so no problems over there all right so 
I gotta hire more people. Mechanics, I think I'm gonna hire. Let's see. Ten dollars, eleven dollars, ten dollars. Alright, we need to hire a researcher as well. Hire one researcher. Because I think we wouldn't be making any progress. Alright, we actually did make progress. Okay, research department is being researched at the moment. Sales desk. Okay, you can't have a research zone just yet. So, I think we'll have to have a research building uh, later on. So, no worries over there. Now, 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 can we place some pretty looking things as well? Yeah, I mean, that would look bad, right? Like. I don't think I'm gonna waste my money on that just yet. Got parking space. Protects from rain. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what to do. Okay, so we're gonna have red cars coming out, right? Like everybody's uh, having this black uh, cars, so I want some nice uh, looking red cars too. Oh, what's he lifting? All right. Second production line is uh, on the way right now. see what what else do we have so research is we have a research department unlock Okay, I thought you can co connect uh, another assembly station, but it doesn't look like it, so. Actually, uh, can I delete this? No, I can't even delete it, so. Alright, since we have more money, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, quickly build another little hall or room or like a little research center right next to our sales center. So let's keep some space uh, for the sales center in case so we need to expand later on. So quickly build something like that. Actually, that looks like a warehouse, doesn't it? I mean, no, I don't want that. Fence building, metal building, and Roman building. I think Roman buildings would look nice. Right, something like that. Get a nice uh, door in the front. 
apart from that, now I can designate a research uh, zone. So let's make it just the entire research zone. Yeah, just like that. Have the research desk over here. Research blueprint slot. Yeah, I think that's all we can build at the moment, so. All right, so uh, as you can see, we, we can uh, research new vehicles. Mr. Doctor is, uh, Doctor Research is uh, going over here and just flipping his plans in right into the sky. So. <laughs> How's our sales looking all right? People are buying our cars at rate, right? So do you actually see your cars moving? No, I think you got competitors coming up as well with their own cars. All right, let's uh, see what else can we uh, research at the moment. So production, I think production is pretty important at the moment. production line you can connect two workstations mm -hmm. corporation all right so while this is going on i actually want to see if i can uh, I thought we had red cars, but it doesn't look like we are getting any red cars at the moment. It's only black. Oh, are they building the red car right now? Okay, now they are building the red car, so... Okay, can I delete that? Alright, let me delete that quickly. production line over here second production line over there Let's see if this is gonna work all right so that works I actually got uh, the production lines to work right now so it looks like we can connect to a production line so let's see how it's gonna look like for this Right now, we don't have any cars to sell. Got red cars coming out, red cars. All right, while that's happening, let me quickly delete this. quickly build uh, another production line or uh, assembly station all right getting confused time to time so do forgive me for that all right two assembly lines just like that and then let's have a conveyor belt getting connected just like that uh, apart from that I need to connect the storage like so and I think we're good to go. Also, let me quickly hire a few, few people. Six, six. Salesman, no, I don't need more salespeople. All right. Now let me quickly play some more items. Just like that. Mm -hmm. 
at that we got some really heavy lifters and this train doesn't seem to leave right so it's like always there it's like the magic uh, <laughs> the magic train compartment having all the items like you need like the world market is in there all right so let's check it out right so we do have two mechanics working on this and I think we're gonna need more mechanics because uh, the two production lines over here are empty at the moment so So you guys, uh, for those who you don't know me, I'm uh, Flaming Yakuma, I'm a gamer from Sri Lanka, so I do hope you are enjoying this video at the moment and uh, uh, just uh, check out my channel if you like to see more new games and all that, so I kind of uh, try to bring you new games at the same time. Uh, it's not going to be all the time AAA type games, but uh, games from indie developers and games like uh, Car Mechanic right now, so do hope you're enjoying. Love bringing you guys content. I think the game does need to improve in certain places. Like uh, you just saw this guy carrying things in there. So just like that. <laughs> you can see them carrying the items. Those look like two bolts. So. Some things look so wrong, and then they run through the items, the storage spaces, and all that. So, hopefully, the devs can uh, fix all those. But uh, overall, uh, I like this game. It's uh, very creative and uh, looks very interesting at the moment. Look at them, they're running with all the pieces. Alright, so why, how come... How come no one's starting work on uh, this assembly line? Oh, shoot, I didn't select the blueprint. Let's have the black cars going in there. Okay, I think we can output more cars now. All right, let's kind of give some uh, decoration to our little sales area. Place it just like that. Two shells. Just like that and maybe we can have a sales area later on over here nice okay, nice already and for our research area I need to have if I'm not mistaken all right guys so I uh, kind of built uh, played the game a bit more and I kind of uh, improved our uh, production lines and as well uh, you can see like I have three uh, sorry four production lines uh, going on at the moment with multiple cars and two sports lines and two luxury car lines so uh, our car park is full uh, we have a lot of cars being sold at the moment we are making money and it's a pretty interesting game uh, actually I'm doing this recording after a while because the game crashed and I couldn't uh, kind of uh, show you the full factory after it was complete so i actually managed to have this part uh, done so this is a car factory and you can see like we have huge research centers uh, waiting areas and also we have multiple cars being sold and we have to get ready for a race this is scenario and uh, we definitely have to have i think a, a racing car ready by then so pretty cool pretty cool and 
Uh, let's see. So this game is still in its demo phase. Uh, I couldn't get to the India Police uh, 501 race at the moment. So uh, I will definitely be playing the game uh, later on and checking it out. So pretty cool. I love the whole car parking concept and all that. Wish there was a bit more space uh, because uh, the main reason why my game crashed was because I moved my entire factory floor uh, towards uh, the train station and kind of uh, everything stopped working so uh, like I don't know what, what just happened but just keep in mind uh, let's uh, see what uh, car manufacturer has to offer in the future so uh, kudos to the development team I hope uh, they kind of uh, get this uh, game uh, going and definitely it's like almost like a fully uh, complete game as well Alright you guys, uh, so as you can see I'm just placing more car parking slots because our production lines, we are not selling enough sports cars so the luxury cars keep moving so ideally I should have had more promotions going on so uh, my mistake. Alright so I hope you all enjoyed this episode uh, car manufacturer and uh, do uh, add it to your wish list because I think definitely it's going to be a pretty interesting game once it's uh, fully released as well. So for those who you don't know me, uh, I'm Flaming Yakuma, a gamer from Sri Lanka. And uh, if you did like this episode, do consider subscribing and liking and dropping your comments. Uh, I love hearing from you guys because uh, I get a lot of uh, fan comments, uh, emails uh, saying, uh, can you do this game and that game? So definitely anything that you guys want, uh, let me know. Uh, let me know like if you guys want to see something different uh, on my channel or anything like that just drop it in the comment section below So you guys uh, until next Thursday uh, because I have episodes coming out every Tuesday and Thursday uh, and uh, Different kinds of games. So I'm kind of trying to bring you guys uh, like new upcoming games indie uh, developer games and all that not so much into the AAA side because I think everybody is doing AAA, but uh let's see let's see um i'm still a new channel so i have a long way to go so all right until then you guys flaming yakuma out